Goodbye, Fido. Daddy's going out for a little bit. Got the dog. Ruff, ruff. You feel me? Ruff, ruff. Ah! Oh my goodness. What was that? Oh no. Did God kill my puppy? Where will I find the answer? You'll find the answer in the Bible. How do you stop this thing? Go! Oh. Oh. Why did my puppy have to die? <laughs> my puppy! It's John Cam. Hello. To <laughs> find out why John's puppy died, my puppy? Yes, John's puppy died. We'll have a look in the Bible like we saw before. So, I'll read a bit from the very first page of the Bible in Genesis. I've got my animals here listening so they'll know exactly why they died. It says, God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, livestock creatures that move along the ground. Does that mean me? Yes. <laughs> It means you, Mr. Orange Cow. <laughs> so God made all those creatures and wild animals, each according to its kind, including puppies and gorillas and orange cows. That sounds good. Yes, it does. Did you get that, John? Yep. Okay. Uh, he also made every winged bird according to its kind. Like the ones in the sky? Yes. And... God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number, and fill the water in the seas. But animals aren't made of fruit. Yes, they are. They, <laughs> they all have seeds. <laughs> and let the birds increase on the earth. What? And then there was evening, and there was morning. And God said that his creation was good. <laughs> Yay! We're good! <laughs> Action. So why'd my puppy have to die? I don't understand. Well, John, if we look a bit further into the Bible, we can see a bit more about the story of Genesis. God created Adam and Eve, so we've got here Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Um, when they were in the garden, God told them not to eat the fruit of the tree, and Eve went along and ate the fruit. And that was really bad, and they turned away from God. <laughs> I'm God! So here we have them. Adam, hello, and Eve. Oh. They turned their backs to God because they, they ignored him when he said not to eat the fruit of the tree. And so this brought a lot of consequences. Now there was sin and death in the world, so animals and humans started dying. Oh. And there was bad stuff in the world now. So t today, that is why animals and humans die. Understand a bit more about why your puppy might have died? A little bit. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you a bit more about the story. Okay. The Bible tells us that Jesus came along and he came to give us eternal life to, so that we can live with him but even when we do die. I'll read you a bit about what the Bible says. It says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So people don't really die when they're, when they're Christians. They have eternal life and they get to live with Jesus forever. Cool. So what do you think about that? That's good. Yeah? Yep. Cool. Sweet. But I kind of ran over my dog, John. I guess sometimes accidents happen, and whether God wants it to or not, 
humans can have an effect on animals as well. So don't eat meat. So what was the original myth you wanted to know, John? Why did God kill my puppy? Or actually, did God kill my puppy? So what was your original myth, John? Did God kill my puppy? Well, from the story, we can say that he didn't kill your puppy because, as you remember, Adam and Eve turned their backs away from God and that made sin enter into the world. And people started dying and animals started dying. So it wasn't really... God didn't want your animal, animal to die, but they did because we're not good people towards God. The myth busted? Myth busted. Busted!